What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Summer. All right, so we're going to talk about it. You guys seen the title? We're going to talk about this because I think it it's what makes a lot of women get stuck inside of situations or keep harping on whatever the person has going on with the next person. And, and it will make you feel like, why me? Why why not me? Like, what makes this other person so special? So I'm about to give y'all some clarity right now. And so, yeah, don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, you guys. Um, I will put it in the description below. And I offer them with just coaching or with tarot or single tarot questions. Um, and I also have my self-love workbook. It's an actual workbook with steps that you can, that you check off and do in great questions. And it's actually a tool. It's not just something to read. All right. So yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you were in this toxic relationship and it really had you and, you know, they put you through a lot. They cheated on you. They just dragged you. They constantly gaslit you. They just, they had you in a huge trauma bond and they were just a nasty person you know they put people before you they talk bad about you they had you stressing gaining weight you know looking uh um you know had you looking stupid out here you know they had you looking stupid out here like you're like you were the one who was the problem when we both know that they were the problem of course yes we have things we need to work on but you know they were the problem and you know they go ahead and you see them go on to somebody else right you see them go on to somebody else and it feels like you start you see pictures and it starts seeming like dang they're in an amazing relationship maybe they didn't marry you but then they end up marrying the next person what like what what does that mean you know you're like what what does that mean was it really me and it looks like they're gonna treat it better it looks like they're like they're everything that you wanted them to be when really let me tell you something i'm gonna give a great example right i'm gonna give a great example um I'm gonna give a great. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of an example that everyone will know. Okay, so I start coming across clips right off of you know old love and hip hop stuff, and I was seeing the dynamics between like um, if you ever watched it, it's it's um, like the Peter Gunn's relationship. He was with a woman for like 13 years. And then um, he went off and just quickly married the other girl and while they were still together. And guess what? She got dragged. The other woman, he married her fast and everything, but he was still a dog. He was still a player. And he and she got dragged. You know, they're not together now. And she put herself through hell because she thought, she, because she, you know, as people, sometimes our ego could get in the way. And then we think that we're, you know, we're, you know what? They tell us like, oh, this, they were mean to me. They didn't cook. They didn't clean. All, all that is lies. And then, so the other person thinking that they're better. So it looks better on the outside. It looks like, oh, they married that person, but no, it it never they're they're still the same person so if somebody if one of you guys are out there right now and you're seeing my video and you know it was meant for you to see this video because 
they're still a dog. They're they're still dragging the other person. Another example, it was another couple on there, you know, Jocelyn Hernandez, Stevie J, you know, he was with the other girl for so long. And then he went off to, uh, he was with Mimi for so long that he went off to Jocelyn. And, you know, he still dragged Jocelyn. He still dragged her. Um, I had to bring this topic up. Like, I really had to bring this topic up because... You know, um, one day I seen my ex, right? And he got married. And the first thing that came to my mind was poor, poor girl. Poor girl. I'm glad I did not marry him, you know? <laughs> but I was like, but then I was thinking about um some of my clients or some people that I talk to how they're like oh they're treating them better than me they're doing the most for them and it it's never it's never really true you know if they're if they were a treater dra dragging you they're they're cheating on them or um and a fortunate circumstances shoot maybe they're maybe you wouldn't go start putting a down payment on their car note and guess what the other person they put in their name on their car note because they got better credit because they yeah they got better credit than the, um, the toxic person and they're putting the down payment on the car note and they're buying the car note car note so they're more supply. They're better supply. They are better than you. They're a better dummy. That's what they are. They're a better dummy. You have way you have you don't have the supply that they need, okay? Because guess what? You you weren't supposed to be in that relationship. You know, I I do tell readings and you know, I I see people going through so many things and you know, what there's what I've learned is that, you know, we have multiple soulmates and you know what we can be soulmates with a to with a demon, you know? <laughs> You definitely can. We have multiple soulmates, multiple lessons we have to go through. And that's just what it is. And, you know, it's not easy to get over stuff. But when you start, uh, everybody says, know your worth, know your worth. But it's, it's really knowing who you are and what you know getting a clear understanding of what you will and won't accept and what will make you comfortable what will make you comfortable make you happy and stop trying to make other people happy who and making other people happy and you know draining yourself because of it that is self-worth. That is self-love. You know, you stressing me out? Nah, I'm not going to deal with you. But yeah, the toxic person and the toxic person has not changed. They're not they're not changing anything. Um they probably even they probably got worse. They're probably getting more enabled, you know. Um you could actually is it's like, so what do you do? Y'all, my video trying to drop. <laughs> my video trying to drop. So really, it's like, what, what do you do? It's all, it always sounds cliche, but it's like you, you block them from everything, okay? Block them from everything. Stop looking. If you have mutual friends, you're gonna have to take a, you're gonna have to take some time to. So when you see, like when I seen my ex got married, you guys, my ex narcissist, cause he, he was a, he is a freaking narcissist, okay? For sure, one thousand percent, and 
you know, I see this after I worked on myself, after I healed, after I, um, you know, got over everything. And I was just like, oh, poor girl. Because, and you know how I seen it? Because we have mutual friends on um, Facebook. So, yeah, get away from their mutual friends. Get away from everything. But, you know, I was not hurt by that situation because I was like, I know I, I wanted more. I know I needed more. I know that he could not give me more. So, really think about it because sometimes we're in our feelings so much or we get stuck in our ego so much that we can't actually we can't actually look at the bigger picture okay it's time to look at the bigger picture and find somebody who's gonna treat you right okay it is literally somebody who is going to treat you right it doesn't matter if um you have kids already it doesn't matter if you know um you're you think that it's other people who look better than you or it's somebody who has a nicer body than you. The comparison, comparison to other people will really take a hit at your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. So be the most confident person you can be and, you know, don't, and again, I'm gonna say this again, they're not getting treated better. They're just making it look better, you know, the narcissist is still thinking about you. They know you're watching. So, yeah, stop watching and, and yeah, go ahead and get myself that workbook, okay? Get that workbook. It's going to really help. I'm about to, um, I restart that, I restart my workbook about maybe two or three times a year. It just helps me keep myself updated, you know? So, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit like on this video again and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.